Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second episode of I'm not sure what we're going to name this, so we're going to let you do it instead. Last episode, there was a fair amount of, hey, Mike, you don't know how to pronounce the word vlog. So a lot of people gave their input as to what they feel that the thing should be called. So what we're going to do is have you guys put in the comment section, let's name the vlog and we'll take the ones that we like the best and make a Facebook poll and let people vote on it. And there we go. Today's topic, it's sort of inspired by current events in a very not fun way. I'm sure a lot of people heard over the weekend, president and CEO of Nintendo, you know, Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, passed away by a complication essentially with a tumor growing in his bile duct. There's gonna be a lot of retrospective of his life and his career, videos about games he's worked on. I, I'm pretty sure if you just YouTube right now, Iwata Memorial, you're gonna find tons of stuff. And that's not really what we're doing today. What I wanted to talk about anyway was a game that he was very much involved with. I wanted to talk about Earthbound. While the game is technically the brainchild and the, the story and the heart of Shikisato Itoi, without Iwata, we might not have ever had this game. It was more or less under the hood a traditional JRPG. You had hit points and a fighting system and you walked around on a world map. What made it different is that it was set in the equivalent of like suburban America, baseball bat instead of a sword, yo-yo instead of a bow and arrow. And when you defeat enemies, you, you tame the wild animals instead of, I don't know, killing them. Instead of gold, you have this mythical dad character who is a telephone. You call him and he saves your game, but he also deposits money into your bank account because, yeah, I don't know, it's like a trust fund situation or something. Thanks, dad. So you're walking around following the storyline about being a teenage boy who is called by a greater, you know, whatever, to fight evil with some friends because the game is about friendship. I think the best description I ever heard about the game was uh, Yahtzee of all people, and he said it was Cthulhu Mythos meets the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show. It's all cute on the surface, and then you've got these like crazy alien monsters and otherworldly evils, and it's it's apt. It's very fitting. Why this connects to Iwata, when it was being developed, it was not doing so well. Iwata stepped in and recoded the entire game from scratch. And there's like this famous quote about him saying that, you know, we can have a mediocre game in two years at its current trajectory, or he could start the whole thing over and the game would be out in one year. What we ended up with was this phenomenal experience that it's more or less like cult status uh, because it has a really avid fan base, which is kind of where we're getting with this whole thing. But it didn't sell well at all. Like marketing for the game was pretty terrible. I'm sure a lot of people saw it in bargain bins. And now, you know, the cartridges go for like ridiculous amounts of money on eBay because now it's really sought after. Now recently, a lot of that changed because they re-released it for the Wii U Virtual Console. If you own a Wii U and have not bought this game, you're wrong. But like I said, it's a story of adventure and it's a story of friendship. And that's kind of the most important theme is that these characters are there for each other. And what has come as a result, bunch of people who made careers out of this game. Now, I'm not, I'm not talking like people that like professionally play video games or anything. I'm, I'm talking more along the lines of, I don't know if you're familiar with Fangamer. It's a website that started with a bunch of people who were Earthbound fans on the internet talking to each other and deciding, hey, we kind of want to have Earthbound shirts and Earthbound merchandise, but Nintendo wasn't making any, so they decided to make their own. It's inspired by the game, so they don't actually use any of the trademarks or any of the copyrights, but they evoke the same emotions, and the heart is really in the right place. They are, the week that this goes live, hosting a pretty insane thing down in Tucson, Arizona called Camp Fangamer. It's, uh, it's an Earthbound convention. Uh, what's the best way to describe it? Like, gonna be a panels Earthbound convention. Because, really, Earthbound brings people together. It's funny, I, I met my buddy Tyler essentially through the game. The bond that everyone who experienced this game feels. A really good example is an artist named Zach Gorman. You may have heard of his stuff at Magical Game Time. He's got, like, this beautiful art style. It recaptures these moments in the games that... Final Fantasy VII and Earthbound, like, on the, the same page. I just... I. Earthbound is just one of those games that just grabs you. A game that taught me, hey, Mike, you like JRPGs. 
I didn't know what that meant at the time. Oh, you mean there's other games like this? Absolutely wonderful experience of a game. And I, I'm not saying that like with nostalgia goggles on because I realized that a lot of the times when you go back to games that you played as a child, you just remember them being better than they actually are. Listening to the game's soundtracks when I was a kid was really influential for me because, you know, I'd hum the melodies and I'd be like, okay, well, I'm gonna go sit down at my parents' really old, out of tune piano and try and piece some of these melodies together and play some of this stuff. And importance in melody, I, I, I learned that from video game music and that has like hugely shaped the way that I write stuff. The Final Fantasy games and Earthbound and Chrono Trigger and it set me off down a thing, down like a, a path, a jath. JRPG path. I need to stop mixing words. All right, um, song of the vlog. Your Name Please by Super Soul Brothers. The brains behind the entire thing is a guy named Robbie Benson. His musicality is ridiculous. Uh, the way that this guy plays the keyboards is just an experience. And if you have any chance to see them perform live, oh wait, you do at Camp Fangamer. Super Soul Brothers will be doing stuff on the live stream all weekend, but Your Name Please is just such a fun, it's the part of Earthbound where you're naming your character. Kind of obvious, because the name, and it's a really, it's a really fun song and it's really just kind of bouncy and their take on it is so awesome. Brian, their guitarist, I have guitar envy. I'm not sure I've used enough hyperbole in terms of music yet. Check them out. They are fantastic. The song is fantastic. And you will thank me, especially if you played the game, but even if not, because it's a really pretty song. As far as the band goes, we were actually trying to record a, uh, an Earthbound cover. Our rehearsal schedule is really just kind of hectic right now. Right when we were getting ready to do it, our violinist Alan's car got bashed into. I mean, he wasn't in it. It kind of derailed the entire night. Not not good times. So to bring it all back around, I really just kind of wanted to say thank you to Iwata for ensuring the game actually came out because it could have ended up in development hell or it could have just never been released stateside. Who knows what would have happened as a result. His efforts were really appreciated. That game means a lot to me and the existence of things like Camp Fan Gamer or Magical Game Time proves how special this game was to so many people. So to recap, the song of the vlog was Your Name Please by Super Soul Brothers. Game that I mostly gushed about for the entirety of the episode is Earthbound. And most importantly, the thing that you have to do, remember, in the comments, your name for the vlog. We're gonna take the ones that we like the best and we're gonna make a Facebook poll and then you can vote on that. And if you don't like us on Facebook, uh, you should probably do that. That would be rad. Thanks everybody for watching. This has been episode two. That's the wrong, it's the wrong file.